Welcome back to Bullhead and Metal, guys. My name is Joseph. Today we're doing another Carcass reaction, or Carcass reaction from their new album that's upcoming, I think, next month. The song, the song called Dance of Hitab, or Hitab, or Ihtab. Welcome back to Bullhead and Metal. My name is Joseph. Today we're doing another Carcass reaction. And this time it's to Dance of Ihtab, if I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Now, I'm very familiar with Carcass, and I do love hard work and swan song and their albums when they start doing that more melodic death metal sound that they've kind of, uh, what I discovered actually recently doing some research, they are actually one of the pioneers, or considered one of the pioneers of melodic death metal along with uh, the band Death. But not to mention, I know they've also kind of pioneered along with Napalm Death, the whole grindcore too, right? If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Anywho, I'm a fan of the band. I'm excited to see their new song. Let's get right into the reaction. Just be prepared. I might like it, might dislike it, as my, I tried to have my reactions as genuine as possible. All right, let's do this. Turn up the volume. It's the thing about Carcass that I've always liked. They have a very unique uh, way of playing and uh, songwriting as well. I remember the first song I ever fell in love with, No Love Lust, and then followed by Heart Work. And I think that's where a lot of fans kind of jump on board with them. And they just had such a unique way of just writing songs and performing them. Not to mention through documentaries when I found out that they're commonly... Uh, misinterpreted with their lyrics where they'll have a lot of very gory lyrics and people thought they were like either satanists or crazy where actually there were uh vegans who were or vegetarians if you can correct me again kind of protesting against animal violence in their songs with the the kind of very gruesome kind of lyrics i remember seeing that in the, one of the documentaries and i thought that was a really funny way of kind of there's a sense of humor about them as well despite having very dark lyrics and very meaningful lyrics Yeah, I really, I'm really digging this. It's not like, um, I never, their music has ever jumped at me, except for the song Hard Work, I think, because it's just such a, like, a fast, impactful song. Most of their songs grow on me. And as I'm listening to this, it's like, I'm not immediately like, oh my god, I'm, like, it's not like that, but it's like, oh my god, this is classic Carcass. This is going to be like a kick-ass album. I remember the last album was a big deal when it first came out. So they're kind of those guys that were able to maintain their creative juices flowing throughout their career. 
and always had this kind of unique sound that might not be for everybody but those that love carcass i have been loyal fans for a really long time i don't like their grindcore days i'll be honest with you i'm not a big fan of those early early days but i am a huge fan of the post kind of like later part of their career albums like how it's it's quite i mean it's not like a progressive metal but i really like the interesting progressions with the drums and the way he's hitting the only thing i'm not a hundred percent on is like the the production uh and i think they do it on purpose it's just kind of their 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 choice it seems to be because they're they're such skilled musicians and they're so good at like i think so writing songs but they choose this kind of very um uh, i don't know I, I mean not to sound like stupid but like very they have like this kind of metallic sound almost like a like a hammer hitting a sword when it's you know when, when the blacksmith is working it has a, this very kind of crazy metallic sound that i think they like to keep within their music i really liked oh i mean the hard work actually has the same sound as well but i also like the the sound of the album swan song and this guy actually kind of reminds me of swan song as well in some of the uh, songwriting perhaps i'm wrong maybe you guys can correct me and point me in the right direction i'm not uh, i like carcass but i'm not like the the, the biggest fan out there so i am um, you would say, I'm, I'm, I haven't dipped my toes as deep as some other people. that's a new album it's going to come out september 17th so that's very soon it's right around the corner i'm going to be excited to actually review this album listen through the whole thing um just to see what i kind of think about it and i know with this album it's going to be one of those for me when i have to listen to it multiple times to really digest the kind of layering that they do in their in their music and to really appreciate what what's being done here but i really enjoyed the song i like it i have nothing to say i i wasn't mind blown not because it's a bad song or anything like that but because Generally speaking, there's some a lot of times I have this moment where I need to sink my something that's a little bit meatier and more layered. I need to sink into it with a couple of listens. And I think that's what I'm going to do after I turn off this video. I'm going to give it a couple more listens to really kind of get into it. Uh, because something that's very immediately, immediately catchy, I you know, that's usually something I'll gravitate towards and really like. But sometimes on occasion, actually death, I had the same issue with. I had Green Carnation, the same with Opeth. I just couldn't get into the band right away. I had to digest multiple songs at a time to kind of get the feeling for it. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Keep it metal out there. Have a good one.